Hi, this started out as a blog post about how to choose a pair of goggles for open water swimming. But as it turns out, it's probably easier to show you how rather than write about it. So this is my current favorite pair of goggles. It's called Above and this is the Mars Air Plus model. Now it's my favorite for several reasons which we'll get into on the rest of this video. One of the key things you should be looking for in a pair of goggles, especially for long distance swims, is comfort. Comfort is less of an issue for competitive swimming where your races are short, but in the open water, especially for distances like 5k to 25k, it's a big deal. One of the things that stands out in my pair of above goggles are the gaskets around the eye piece. These gaskets are one of the softest I've ever tried. I put my goggles through a lot of swimming, a lot of kilometers, and not only do they keep the water out, but they're really comfortable on the eyes. I found a pair that came close to Above's soft gasket. It's this Speedo special release, but, well, I'll get into it later. If you compare the two, Above's gaskets are still softer, they have more give, they don't leak, and they're half the price of Speedo's goggles. You should look for a pair of goggles that reduce the pressure around your eye sockets. They don't let the salt water in, and it's a kind of pair that you know you'll be comfortable wearing throughout your swim, however long that is. What else should you look for when choosing a new pair of goggles? One is clarity, and that means how clear the goggles are, whether you're sighting and your head's above water, or when you're swimming and your head is in the water. And the next is specificity, and that means whether your goggles meet the conditions of the day you're swimming. Things like, is it an overcast day, or is it sunny, and you might need help with a glare. This is a pair of Speedo goggles with mirrored lenses. The lens is covered with a mirror film on the outside, and it has a lower profile, which is closer to what you usually use for shorter swims. The mirror coating reflects light by about 10 to 50 percent. It also gives the water a brown cast while you're swimming. This is another example of mirrored goggles. This is the Dolphin Charger. It's mirror coating. It has a blue tint to it, so when you're underwater, everything is extra blue. This pair of above goggles has mirrored lenses as well, but it's a thinner film and one of the things I noticed about it was that it has one of the clearest lenses in the water of any that I've tried apart from the really expensive Speedos that I showed earlier. In general, mirror lenses are good for sunny days and bad for days when it's overcast or the water's murky. Take note though that polarized lenses help with a glare and mirrored lenses not as much. The final tip is to make sure that the goggles fit your face structure. Try a pair on without using the straps and if they sit on your face for a few seconds, that's a good sign. Since we all have different face shapes, it's possible that what works for me won't work for you and this is why you need to try several on before you finally settle on your pair. So I hope this helped and we'll see you in the water soon. Bye!